Another aspect we can see it's the math object. What is the math object? Math object it's the element for, uh, for example, capture the the shadow and for uh, match in uh, in the real footage, for example, or it's the element for hide another element. For example, if I have the the background here, the live action here, and I have this sphere and I want to capture the the shadow of my element on this plane. Or, for example, I want, uh, maybe I have this situation, okay, I have here, it's my elements, and I here is my building, and I want to hide this part. If I render now, like this, uh, now I cannot be very fast, the system, uh, okay, skylight, don't take care about this. Can come back a few moments here on my sphere, and I can change again on black and also it's uh, zero in Italy 0 0.5 so it's uh, very fast to see that okay now if I render if I come back on out and I render with template and I have all my elements in my scene. Is, uh, this is more important. Maybe I don't uh, want all elements. Okay, maybe I want to only render some uh, effects, like for example, only my sphere. And here I have maybe this is my mask. Because uh, sometimes when you work in the, with animation or also with the static image, you need, for example, to create one effect. So maybe you need to hide some part for integrate with reality. On the real footage, sometimes there is one person is called, uh, uh, this phase is called rotoscopio, rotoscope, and the rotoscope is very boring to do. But sometimes you need, for example, you can modeling some part that you can also hide some element. And in another kind of situation, maybe it's very comfortable because maybe this element is not animated and uh, is a very rough time if you take this element and render every time. Maybe you can render one time because maybe the camera is not moved, is fixed. You can render only one time like background and then you can mix it with uh, the compositing for create that. In Udemy, we have very powerful tools. We can say what is the render and what is not render. Also, we can use the math object effects. For that, we can, for example, come down, minimize. Here, in object, I can say is candidate all elements, okay? I want, for example, uh, disable that. And if I render now, I see my render is black because there is no object is render, okay? But uh, I want, for example, choose uh, my, I want to render my sphere and accept and I can render and is render my sphere. But is render is take, we can compare it with this, is take also this part is hide, but uh, is not hide here, I see. But I want, for example, render my sphere and my plane, but I, want, I don't want to render my building here. Okay, this two box, I don't want to render this two box, but I want to render my sphere and my plane. So I can go here and say, okay, I want to also add my grid. Oh, okay, grid and sphere, I can select together and accept, I can create also the bundle but this pattern is okay. And now if I render, I see that. We can check, render. Okay, we see here I have the part of my plane and here I have a part of my sphere. I can press X because I don't want to continue to render. And here I have, for example, force matte object. Is, uh, you are sure you render your element. Here you have a force matte object 
and a force path fa phantom. You can say, hey, I want to take, for example, my box, accept this math object. Now if I render, you see it's render all, a, all image, all element, but your box, our, our uh, um, building we have uh, here, that part is not coming out. So it is the mask, okay? You can also check uh, with the alpha, you can press E from the keyboard, you see your alpha, and C, you come back on your color. And now I have here my mask. So when I go to compositing, I can choose to have this part is masked and is uh, blocked and here maybe is uh, working better for, for have this, okay? And this is one way. Also, I can use another way for create that effects it's on your geometry. In fact, if you go in your geometry object here in the render, I have here the matte shading. Matte shading, if I check this and I come back to out, delete this here and I render, I see I have the same effects I have it with the object here. What is the best way for use that? I think the best way is created more noise. And here it's not working again. Ha! <laughs> it's not working because I need to apply also the material. This is the bad way here. Because here I need to apply the specific. Ah, yeah, I didn't say. So the matte shading, yes, but also it's very comfortable to apply the specific material here. Specific material here, you can find here the matte object. If you want to make sure, shadow matte, you can drag and drop here. Drag uh, over here. And I can. Here it's uh, okay, not my sphere, it's my box on my box. And my sphere, it's my sphere and my box. I want to make sure it's shadow map. And check, and maybe I can change the color. It red so I can see it. So this is my matte object. I can come back on out and I can render with template. And now I see with this material also is take and keep the information of the the shadow and you can apply also the shadow in compositing. You can have also the shadow, but maybe it's not the wood. Also, it's not the take again. And this is the the little problem you can have sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's not work. And the best way I think uh, it's uh, use here, the force. This is the best way for create the our matte object.